What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today I'd like to talk about one of the new horses that has been added in with the naturalist role in Red Dead Online, and that is the Gypsy Cobb. Um, now that I've hit level 20, I decided to go ahead and buy the Splashed P-Ball Gypsy Cobb, which you guys will see here in a second. It has a very cool, you know, mane, a very cool tail. It's long, you know, it kind of has that mix of the black and white, kind of like the body does, kind of like the coat does. It's a very nice looking horse. And of course, the other one you can get at level 20 is the Splashed Bay which is really, really nice looking as well. In my opinion, these are some really nice coats on all of these horses. I really like the look of all of these Gypsy Cobbs. As you can see, the ones that, of course, you can unlock at level 20 have some decent speed and some decent acceleration. They do cost 950 bucks, like pretty much like normal standard handling. Uh, of course, depending on what you know level your horse is bonded at, once you get to four, depending on the saddle you have on, you're going to be able to get more speed or more acceleration or you know more core drain rate. Of course there's tons of different saddles in game that you can use but in my personal opinion i really do like the horse it's not the best for speed or acceleration as you guys could could see there but something about it is just one of those i, I like multi those multi-style horses or the war horses because they have kind of that i guess not just straight speed and acceleration but a little bit of toughness as well now when it comes to purchasing a horse I think it's just a flip of the coin if, if you're going to get a, a skittish horse or not. Because sometimes I've purchased horses, got them to level four. They'll be extremely calm. I've purchased the exact same horse, the exact same breed, and they'd be very, very skittish. So I'm not sure if it's kind of a RNG thing when it comes to that. It's kind of odd in my opinion. But, of course, the one that I purchased, like I said, was the P-Ball. Uh, I, I did change the mane. I gave it the Mohawk. <laughs> I gave it kind of the Mohawk look. But if you do not want to change the mane, the mane or tail, you really do not have to change. They do look very, very good. A lot of people are probably going to like the look of these. Uh, when it comes to what I'm using on this, you, so you guys can kind of see, you know, exactly what saddle I'm using. I have gone with the beaver roping saddle. Now, this is a saddle you get at level 83 in game, like when your character is to level 83. So it's going to be a while for a lot of people. I really do like this saddle, even though it's not the best to look at. I have had a lot of good luck with the saddle on this horse. It seems to work very well. Of course, this does have the stirrups built in for you know more speed, so you don't have to worry about purchasing stirrups for the saddle. And the saddle is very, very cheap. Uh, if you have the Outlaw Pass and you're almost 83, uh, you're going to get a lot of you know uh, a lot of coupons in the game for you know discounts on saddles. I think I used one of those and got like got the saddle for like 205 bucks. So it, it's a cheap saddle. Not like I said, not the greatest looking saddle. But it does have those built-in stir uh, stirrups for speed, so that does help out a lot. Of course, another really good saddle, in my opinion, for this horse, the one that I have used, and kind of one of the better saddles in game, is the Ivor saddle. Of course, this came with the Moonshiners DLC, uh, or the DL you know the Moonshiners roll when that was unlocked. Um, and the last but not least, of course, the Nakadoche saddle is always really, really good. Of course, you look at it right now and you say, "Why would you use that?" You know, all your stats are down. It does have that hidden bonus that gives you some extra speed with it as well. So the Nakadoche saddle is a very good choice as well. Um, if you have the McKinney saddle, that is a good choice. I mean, it's really going to be dependent on what you like. You know, do you want more core drain rate, uh, you know, less core drain rate, regen rate? Do you want more kind of bonus speed from some of these other saddles you can get in game? It's going to kind of just depend on what you want. Like I said, this is not the fastest horse in game. I know a lot of people want just straight up speed, straight up acceleration, kind of a, a horse that you can race with. Now, you could race with this horse. I'm not going to say that you're going to win all the time because, it, like I said, it's not the quickest. But as you can see with this beaver saddle on, it does have some speed. The thing I like about it, it has a big stamina and a big health pool. Uh, you can ride for a long, long, long time on this horse and get to places quickly because you don't have to really let off the sprint. Uh, you can just sprint forever and you can get to places quickly because of that. You know, if you wear the Ivor saddle, you can get even more out of this when you're sprinting long distances. So that is one thing I like about it. It's a very hardy style horse, even though it may not be the fastest. It works very well for what I need. Yeah, kind of getting across the map to locations back and forth, you know, without fast traveling. I just want something I can get back and forth quickly with without having, you know, to stop and wait for the stamina to kind of build back up. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the Gypsy Cobb. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check everything out down in the description. The community Discord is down there if you would like to join that. Uh, my Twitter is linked down there if you would like to follow me on Twitter. And also, GT Racing is linked down there as well. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs, office chairs, all kind of stuff to fit your gaming needs. So if you have a chance, be sure to give those guys a look. 
and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.